What we decided we were going to do is we're going to talk about sports uh, because I like sports and uh, I think sports are pretty cool. And recently I've been watching a lot more sports than I even usually watch, which is t uh, typically a lot of sports. Uh, uh, the reason I've been watching a lot of sports and studying the rules of sports is because I've been making a lot of minimalist electronic sports. I just said the word sports about five times in one sentence. Get get ready for sports to become a weird sounding word. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's already pretty much gone from my brain. I've, I think I've spent the whole concept of sports. But uh, I've been studying a lot of rules of sports and uh, mainly the the penalty design of sports is, is how I got into the idea for this topic. But uh, that would be a really long story that would take a couple of hours. So what I thought me and Bennett Foddy here could do is talk about sports as though they are objects of game design, which they are, right? The sports some, some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are more tests of a particular type of skill or uh, whatever, but... Uh, so, some of them are cultural practices with a rich history. Some of them are cultural practices with a rich history and game design and level design and... Uh, I don't know. I just think they're all pretty interesting. So... What we wanted to do was uh, kind of do a sort of, well, the original idea was a sort of send up of the, uh, the video game journalism uh, uh, top 10 on an IGN sort of website where they rank the top 10 best of a particular type of thing. And I thought we would do that with sports, uh, reviewing sports as though they were video games. I'm not really sure that, that it ended up being that. But what we did was we asked our Twitter followers, uh, podcast listeners, Facebook friends to send votes to our friend Alex Jaffe uh, uh, and uh, he curated all the votes and made up a list of what our listeners thought were the 10 best sports and prior to this me and Fadi made dozens of slides each trying to predict what those sports would be and those slides have been arranged into a presentation which we are not actually that familiar with so we're going to have to be looking at it which is I guess kind of fun it's a uh, I don't know is that is that a f it's fun? Yeah, that's right. It's uh, interactivity is what that is. So you'll see uh, the ranking that the listeners came up with, and you'll also see our own personal ranking of these sports along with some pros and cons. Yeah, and just to keep things interesting, I did a, a, a slightly different ranking style than he did. Just I, wanted, I want everybody to just be confused. This is a, an intentional simulation of the game of cricket, which we will be talking about. So we're going to start... Uh, that's, uh, that font is Gil Sands, by the way. That's, that's uh, not really, I don't know why I mentioned that. Okay, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, sport number 10 on the list, and this is what happens when you have 8,000 Twitter followers and uh, most of them follow you because they think you're a jerk, is they end up voting for Hyali, which is not, uh, it's, it's, it's racquetball, basically, except with a really big basket and a really heavy ball, uh, that can be thrown at speeds of almost 200 miles per hour. Is it about 200? Do you know what the world record is for a high ally <laughs> speed, speed throw? It's, it's pitched as the fastest sport in the world, uh, which is cool. Uh, it's like racquetball for actual wizards. You need, you need bizarre reflexes to play this game. Uh, I, I've watched highlights of it on YouTube in preparation for this, and... Uh, I was only passingly familiar with it before. Hey, it's you're blaming your listeners for this, but this was in your top 20 of sports of all time. I wasn't actually making a top 20. I was predicting what my listeners and, and Twitter followers were going yeah, so to you vote for. So now you're going to backflip away from high ally. I don't really like it, no. <laughs> I, I, I think racquetball, racquetball is better because, uh, I don't know, the, the racket is... I give high ally a 2.8 out of 10, as you can see. Uh, so I've decided to assign games a rating out of 10. And so my cons are how can anyone actually watch this? And uh, if you, anybody who's seen the TV show Mad Men in the audience, is there anybody? Any, okay. There's an episode where they're supposed to uh, make an advertising campaign for the game of High Ally and they fail and they don't want to take it on as a client because they don't see why anyone would watch it. And I actually think that's uh, pretty good. Uh, okay. So, but I... I you did uh, have a Southeast Asian sport you probably haven't heard of Sepak in my Takraw. list. Uh, Sepak Takraw, uh, which I think is better than a high ally. I, I actually think it's better than high ally as well. This was my number 15 out of 20. Now, the, uh, the, the pros for uh, Sepak Takraw are it's, uh, that it's insane. It's totally insane. And then the cons are that it's actually for it's real just, insane. It's just dudes bicycle kicking. Look at that. It's like bicycle kick volleyball uh, with uh, three on three. I'd give it about a 4.4 .4 out of 10, I think. 
All right, we're going right, to... Right, let uh, me just say that another con I did not list. This is probably the most ablest sport of all time. It's... Oh, man, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and say that racquetball is currently at number 10 on our list, right? And we're going to move on. Because <laughs> right. basically racquetball or squash, if you're from Europe or wherever. Table tennis is one that I didn't write a slide for. Right, so, uh, so this was my number 13 out of 20 of all sports. You have, you have two minutes to talk uh, about right. this. Uh, look, I think table tennis is amazing. Uh, you know, I like that you can fold up half the table and play by yourself. You know, for all of yes. us who like video games, we know nobody's got any friends. <laughs> I've played table a tennis by video myself. Game, everyone just plays it left hand versus right hand. You can do that with table tennis. You can convert it to beer pong. You know, that is very strongly in favor. So we're talking about it as this is more of like a buyer's guide than a <laughs> review. <laughs> is what it sounds like so far. It, it, it's a longest beginner. To, I mean, yeah, you you can people get really good at this. Right. It's, it's a really, really nice, spectacular mechanical skill for people but, to get good at. But a lot of the sports that we're going to be talking about have this kind of aesthetics of feel. You know, it feels. Oh yeah. It feels nice to hit a baseball with a baseball bat. It feels nice to hit a ping pong ball. Are you going to say it doesn't? Yeah, I, I'm going to say that's an annoying, you don't like the sound, stupid little feeling. It's a, it's a little, little poppy sound. It makes a little, little pop and a click. Yeah, you don't like that. No, I think that's that's a major. So are you going to say that's better or worse than racquetball? If you scaled the whole thing up so that the bats were like big enough to make a satisfying sound, I got an idea. How about you play it like like a hundred feet long yeah. and with uh, a rubber ball that's yellow? How about you try that? <laughs> <laughs> that's basically where I'm going. So, so are we going to say this is better or worse than racquetball? Uh, uh, yeah, better, better. Better? Okay, so number 10, racquetball, number 9, uh, table tennis. And, uh, oh, it's baseball. Uh, our listeners uh, decided that baseball was number 8, which I think is interesting uh, because a lot of people seem to like baseball. So what do you think about baseball? Uh, look, it's the quintessential American sport. So it's I pretty feel American. like as an American, you should give the defense of the indefensible. Oh, I should... Uh, <laughs> Well, I like to think it's uh, it's it's hangoutable. It is supremely hangoutable. You can go sit down and hang out and watch baseball. I mean, you can really, really hang out with this sport. <laughs> like you can, you, the baseball stadiums are pretty nice, cool places to hang out at. Uh, some of them even have air conditioning. It happens during the summer, so you're sitting outside and uh, there's grass and uh, well, I guess there's grass in more sports than just baseball. But <laughs> you you get, I mean. And it's 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 uh, the whole mathematics uh, angle of it is uh, we know you can have the commentators can learn things such as this guy is really good against left-handed pitchers in the fourth inning, uh, and it's like you have all these you can break down the psychology of it into numbers and uh, you can sit there and view it as a person with an encyclopedia in your head and have a really good time. And if you're not that sort of person, you can kind of pretend that you like the Yankees or the the Giants or whoever is winning. But you don't like it that much because you only gave it 5.1 out of 10. Well, that's because I had to play Little League when I was a kid, and uh, <laughs> I, I didn't really have a good time. I have, I have pros and cons. You have baseball. a slide. Here we go. Baseball was my number 19 out of 20 sports. To wow, honest, that's, that's actually... I was struggling a little bit to think of sports as I got down towards 20, uh, so I put baseball in here. Uh, fails at being cricket is chief among its shortcomings. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. <laughs> The, glo the, 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 ball, the ball is not as hard or as heavy as a cricket ball. What if the baseball was as big as a volleyball when you played it I'm with like saying, I'm just saying, it's, it's, a huge this, tennis racket? You've got this soft ball, r relatively, it's yeah. light, and yet everyone has to have a leather glove to protect them. This is, this is American sport design in I think you I think you should be playing baseball with like a giant tennis racket and like a volleyball style ball. I think that would be cool. Is that, it can, can somebody make that? For thousands of years, human beings have been able to catch an object with their hands. Yeah, exactly. And then they've, they went ahead and created one that you couldn't. Well, this is the problem with Hyalai as well. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, ball in Hyalai can kill you. It, it can actually kill you. So where do we want to do, do, do put this? Uh, look. At the, bo at the bottom? Yeah. Okay, so number 10, baseball, number 9. Oh, we're starting to lose. If uh, Somebody else can start keeping track to <laughs> make sure. Num number 9 was the other one, uh, racquetball? Right. And then table tennis. Okay, okay, good, good. If right. you want to write it down. I also just Excellent. don't understand with baseball, what's with this hazily defined strike zone that you need an umpire for you could just have a little box yeah a goal yeah you could have a little box it's not Why a hard yeah. design problem this is like it, it is it is uh, that's another reason for the 5.1 is uh right. it's just the whole 
there's just too much of this subjectivity. So we've got cricket now. Yeah. Our, our listeners voted this number seven. Right. Which uh, I think has something to do with uh, what, uh, I don't know if you did something. But uh, it's okay. So my prose is, wow, sure is a lot of stuff to be looking at. I don't know. Does anybody here understand cricket? Can we have a quick show of hands? Would you say you understand it? We've got two, three, four, five. We've got five people in this audience say they understand cricket. Uh, I sort of understand cricket. You understand cricket a lot, probably. I, I understand it pretty well. I like how the field has all these zones. It's like a real-world, real-time strategy game. It, uh, I actually think that's neat. My problem is uh, spectators have to do a lot of thinking. Pace can be unrelenting. I don't know if that's really a... You know, you just have to be, like, really invested in it. It's like the, it's like in the inverse of soccer. But uh, I'm going to let Fadi defend it. And I was going to ask you, this is a little, you have one minute to explain why is cricket better than baseball. All right, this was my number two out of 20. Uh, yeah. you know, this, is, this, number is, two. this is up there for sports. Uh, what did I say here? It's, uh, it's got more moves than baseball. Baseball, you swing the bat, <laughs> and you can bunt. So more, more moves is better? It's like Street Fighter Three. You've got... You know, you can actually choose to not hit a home run in baseball. You can choose to yeah, strategically that's it. That's not like, hit a home like run. Binary in cricket, you know, off cut, cover drive, uh, long hook. See, but in baseball, there's also like that deck building element. It's like, who do I want a left handed guy in this order in the batting? There's, we got there's that stuff in like that. We got that you, yeah, but you're, uh, you're, giving, you're saying it has less moves than it really does have. The biggest plus is it's five days long. It's, it, it's a long game. You can settle into a game. I'm not even joking. That is the best thing about cricket. Is I think cricket is very hangoutable Five as well full days. For a spectator. Uh, you know, and I, I guess downsides, the biggest downside, yes, as I say, hard wooden ball, heavier than a baseball, 100 miles an hour, coming straight at your shins. Or uh, your crotch. So it's not a game I would play. It's not a game just anybody can play. It's more hangoutable than baseball. Though. Yeah, because you get to just sit there and be like, yeah, that's pretty cool. So just like the whole time. I've, that's I've going <laughs> up our list. Seven is not uh, is not right. So you want you want to put it at the at the top so, so shuffle far. Shuffle it up. Shuffle it up. So it's at the top so far. Right. Okay. Our our good friend here is uh, helping us. Um, number six is is basketball, which uh, I give an eight point eight out of ten. Do you, you feel a, do you feel a little ashamed about the number of American sports that are coming in this list? Do you feel a little bit just a, just a tiny bit? But I, I feel like uh, there may be an opportunity for me to vindicate. Uh, myself later <laughs> it's, it's not really my fault that they're all american so the idea of basketball is you'll see in my cons everybody here obviously knows that basketball is great so i don't have to explain that basketball is really cool because the the concept it's okay unlike many other sports it actually had a game designer there's there's an actual uh group of humans kind of sat around and are like let's design a sport and that's where basketball came from that's first, simplifying it's it. the first freeware game that guy yeah he, he, freeware the guy who designed it actually refused to have it named after himself. Exactly. So uh, th that's, that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, so, and one of my cons is why not play with two balls? Why can't we have two balls, six on six basketball in a slightly bigger field? Why aren't there more variations of basketball? Probably because it was originally had the rules written down on a sheet of paper and uh, uh, everybody's just kind of followed those. What, what do you got? Tall uh, players are overpowered, you say? Uh, they clearly tall players are massively overpowered. That is that is true, but you, uh, you can forget this when you watch basketball uh, that they're all about seven feet tall because they're standing around each other and it's it's. The the other night we were playing NBA 2K14 and we made Michael Jordan seven foot five and I posted a really cool Instagram <laughs> video of that and then we made everybody else five foot three just to kind of so we could talk about this and it's it was really funny, and that's the end of that story, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a good game though. I put it. I put it twelve out of twenty. Twelve out of twenty. Where do we want to put it? We want to put it under cricket. Are you? Are you going to say it's under cricket? But it's it's towards oh. the top of the list. Okay, so can we just put it right under cricket? I'm gonna I'm gonna agree. I'll try to argue <laughs> in a minute. But uh, let's go to the next one. Mixed martial arts. It's boxing and wrestling hanging out with one another. Uh, submission is an interesting mechanic because the whole idea is like the other the the person who is losing has to decide that they've lost. I think that's cool. It, that puts subjectivity into a whole new light. But then it is about pain and violence. And it's like, you know, do you really need pain and violence uh, in your game design? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Um, and I, I want to say I prefer sumo wrestling. I, I really like sumo wrestling. And we're hopefully going to talk about that in a couple of minutes or I'll All right, cry. So you, but you gave it 6.1 out of 10. 6.1, yeah. Just I, did not, uh, I did not put uh, mixed martial arts in my top 20. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, you okay. didn't. The reason being... You uh, put judo in yours, didn't you? I just I, I don't I don't enjoy the messiness of mixed martial arts, but I do like that it's the cuddliest of all martial arts. It's very cuddly. 
It's a it's it's basically speed hugging. It is. <laughs> is what they could call it. They <laughs> Or would ballroom, ballroom dancing would be rhythm hugging? Can we, can, is ballroom dancing in here? <laughs> so I, I, I don't know. I think it's, it's okay. I, whenever I go visit my family in Indiana for Christmas, my brothers are always like, hey, you want to go to Hooters and watch mixed martial arts? And I'm like, I, I don't know, okay. And then, you know, I, I've watched it. And I've, I've not hated it in the past. It's all right. Um, but it's, not, it's no sumo wrestling. Where are we putting it? Um, where do you want to put it? Further down the list. Further down the list, under racquetball? Or over racquetball? It, above high ally. Above high ally. Okay, yeah, yeah. High ally's got to be on the bottom of yeah. the list. Is that good? Yeah. I think so. Wait, so is it racquetball or is that high ally? Oh, wait. It's a high ally with pretending it's racquetball. Yeah, we were just it's saying. Because I mean, because it, it is racquetball. Right. It's just racquetball, but faster. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, we're putting it under baseball. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Okay, so my thing about ice hockey is it's really fast, and the first time you go watch ice hockey, uh, and if you're like, it's the younger you are, it's like, wow, you know, look at this. And it's, it's what we would call, it's probably got the best graphics of any sport. Have you ever noticed that every other CG movie for kids is about snow? It's because it just looks cool, and also it's easy because it's a lot of white. But uh, ice hockey probably has the best graphics of any sport because you've got people in this weird armor and helmets and all this paraphernalia and they're sliding around on ice and uh but my problem with it is that uh this it's got this legendary aggression everybody's mad at everybody else and there was that game recently where uh the two teams just started punching each other like right pump drops and they're just punching uh does that stem from mechanical frustration i think is are these people are they rage quitting the game right like right. i i think because you're you're sliding around on skates that are like this thick on you're on ice and you're wearing a bunch of unwieldy clothing and you've got a mask over you your face and, and you're hitting a thing that's like literally the size of an m&m right. on there's the ground a, there's this problem with the the design which is that you, you what you want to do with that stick and that puck is just hit it as hard as you can yeah that's yeah against because the rules you, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do it because then it goes. You, you've you got get like these a two-line pass. You know, two li- the there's all these stupid rules that icing. are basically designed to like take away the nice thing about ice hockey. And they, and they take the word icing, which normally means something you'd put on a cake to make it more delicious, and it becomes a penalty. <laughs> right. It's so so it's confusing as well, right? Right. So uh, you, did you did you do an ice hockey one? No, no, I didn't. you didn't do ice no, hockey. No, no, it's in. Uh, it's not. not in, it's not in my it's top. Not even 20. in your top twenty. Yeah. And there's tennis. Wait, what did I give ice hockey? 5.8 out of 10. Yeah, it's because it's just in the middle of the too much street. paraphernalia was the expression. Tennis was the number three voted sport. <laughs> number three, and I gave it an 8.9 out of 10 because uh, I think tennis is really cool. Here's, here's a fact about me. I have uh, written about a dozen science fiction novels about tennis since about age 15. I just think it's the coolest thing to imagine tennis in the future. And I've always wanted to make like a mutant league tennis game where you're making just bizarre psycho tennis athletes. I like tennis. I like tennis because it, it makes people cry. Yeah. Uh, I, There's a I lot of screaming my, in my tennis, too. My number three too. sport, which you won't see, was the 50-kilometer race walk. Oh, that one is pretty good. Uh, I, like, I like, yeah, people collapse in fatigue and, and puke and cry. I think that's a good, good design. Tennis is, a, tennis is exhausting. It's technical, but it's like hyper easy to follow for a spectator. It's like ext- and it's also something you can play as a hobby with your friends, uh, sort of, if you have access to a tennis court. Right, but that scoring, the scoring mechanic. The scoring is, yeah, the scoring is like, like, the scoring system is a little weird. Like, you score one point, and suddenly you have 15 points. Like, what's right. the deal with that? That was a, a Jerry Seinfeld joke. <laughs> but uh, it actually is. It's like, oh, you just, you, what's the deal? You know, you get 15 <laughs> points. So All right, I, I have a slide for tennis. Oh, uh, do you? It's titled Squash. Squash. More personal than tennis. This is, you like yeah. table tennis okay, as well, because so, yeah, you can play it by a, yourself. You're in amongst it, right? It's still one-on-one, but I could crash into you. I can menace you a little bit. Yeah, you can, you can grief the other player. I can, I can trip you. I can, I can hit the ball in exactly such a way as when you chase it, you'll crash into the wall. Yeah. I, I, yeah no, it's but, just more interesting. But you can't. It's impossible to spectate. Uh, and it's smelly. There's literally no vents in any, any squash court in so the entire world. So the other thing is when you're playing tennis, especially if it's a friendly game, if yeah. what you want to do in, you know, like in badminton squash, you want to hit the ball as hard as you can. Again, this is yeah. a theme for me. It's aesthetics, right? This is what you want to do with a ball. You've got a bat and a ball. You want to hit it as hard as you can. If you do that in tennis, people are mad at you. Yeah. They get a little mad. Because it flies So away. In, in, in squash, you have the rules where it has to bounce on the, the right You square. can just hit it as hard as you like in any direction. It's basically okay. It's usually going to be in bounds, yeah. Nobody has to chase it down. Uh, 
Yeah, it's it's a it's a smelly. It's probably the smelliest. I like I I think it's too fast. I think tennis is like the right slow speed. Squ- squash is definitely the smelliest sport. Oh, it's gross. I've played I've played that racquetball. We call yeah. it racquetball around here where I'm from, and uh, it's it's a uh, yeah it's all right. Yeah, it's a little know. it's a little ripe. I like tennis better. Yeah. All right. Let's let's it's move along. Okay. Yeah. Next sport. Soccer. This Wait. Where's my soccer? Uh, it's next, isn't it? Oh, you put yours first. Oh, we you may just think yours is better. You just have to remember it. Tell us, tell us what you think of uh, well, uh, soccer. Uh, well, I gave soccer a uh, a nine point six out of ten. Wow. I think I gave. Well, yeah, it's in here. No, it's not in there. No, no, no. I, I gave know. soccer a nine point six out of ten because uh, in the year two thousand one or so, I moved out of the country of the United States of America and into another country, which I will not disclose. And uh, I they watched soccer on the television there, and I was like, man, what's the deal with this? They don't even score points in this game. But then uh, I'd been watching it because there was nothing else on TV. And like a couple weeks later, I was like, you know, this is probably the best sport that anybody plays anywhere. And uh, last night while thinking over what we were going to do in this presentation, I, I thought we would have a whole lot of fun. But then I was like, man, soccer probably is the best. It would be more fun than giving this presentation. Yeah, it would. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So my in my in my pros for soccer was you only need to be watching it for thirty seconds to understand almost perfectly how to play. And that doesn't mean you're going to play well. I like it. I like but it. But you un- you'll understand most of the game. It's basically it takes a sport that is older, which is carrying a ball and throwing it. Yeah. And it does this. It's it's like a John Blow game. It's yeah. like, <laughs> what if? You had to not touch it with your hand. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, the, the human instinct. We're born with these opposable thumbs. We want to we pick stuff up, right? We want to hold it, like the ball. And uh, it's like, now you can only use your feet. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like the perfect whole uh, restriction, it's clever. birthing creativity and cleverness. Right. And it's this clever thing. What's not so clever is that you have to like hit it with your head and it knocks you out and then yeah. you brain damage. Yeah, you're hitting it with your head kind of sucks. And I was watching a game yesterday because you know I end up watching it every day. That's a joke. I don't. I just buy it. We were watching it in that 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 restaurant the other day, right? It was on the TV. Right. And I was like, man, these guys haven't gotten the ball on the other side of the field in like ten minutes. They were just getting dominated. But that's interesting to see. I like it. I'm it's like it's I like look. I like cricket. I don't need there to be a a winner and a loser. I, I don't. Yeah. Need, I don't need there to be a goal. I I just enjoy it. it's it's kind of the same way as like you've got like a cat and your cat's kind of just like messing with the piece of string and you're just kind of like looking at it and being like heck yeah you know <laughs> it's like with soccer like if when soccer's on the TV I can just be like yeah those guys are trying to get that over there you don't even need to know the rules it's just like you can put the ball wherever you want uh, on the side of the field that it's on just by by lobbing it up and getting it over there and then yeah. now somebody else has it and it's just about player positioning and just changing your formations and. It's really sublime, and they call it the beautiful game, and as far as games go, it is pretty beautiful. But what if the field was smaller, or the grass was harder, or the ball was bouncier? You know, maybe, maybe it could use some tuning. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. You've got that weird off, offside rule. Yeah, yeah. What some of the rules are a little weird. I don't really understand it. That is a classic problem where you should have solved it by level design instead. Yeah. There should, yeah, there, there should also be walls on the field. I think there should be walls on every walls sport. Walls? Stop. If, if, if your problem is the players are camping out in front of the goal. You have 11 players on each team. Why not spikes. have two balls? That's what you would do. Spikes. <laughs> two balls, man. Right. I want multi-ball soccer. And then what was number one? Was football or <sighs> a.k.a. American gridiron? Put your hand up if you're surprised. Who, who, li- who, who doesn't like football here? <laughs> who thinks football's not the best sport? That's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. Now, see, I like football a lot, okay? I'm sorry, okay? I, uh, I, I mean, I went to college in the state of Indiana where they like basketball, but I also, they also like football, and uh, my family likes football, and I look at football a lot, and I've seen every episode of Friday Night Lights, and uh, I just like football, you know? I mean, but I, I don't know if I would have voted for it as the best sport. I think maybe soccer is better. So, so wait, you're 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 uh, as a leading. I give it a nine out of ten. As a leading though. game designer in the world, as a luminary of uh, of of game design. Am I a luminary? Yeah, yeah. You're, I don't want to be a luminary. As a luminary, and as a <laughs> world-renowned writer on the subject, your yeah. critique of football is, I like football. I like football. It's pretty good. It's. <laughs> okay. Well, as as Coach Eric Taylor says in uh, in Friday Night Lights, everybody loves football, even if they don't know they love football yet. It's a. Uh, Wait, 
Did I, did I'm I not sure that's a the, criticism. Did I, this one? I don't think I did. I think so I, I think so. What I was going to say is, it, it's a game about game design. The most important play choices happen beyond the game itself. Which uh, there are offensive trends. Uh, there are there are plays that kind of stop getting used for a couple of years, and then somebody brings them back. And you have these coaches who are just like these masters of the team, and you're choosing which players uh, with which strengths and weaknesses are doing well, it's a, what. It's essentially a sport for two, right? It's, it's these two, two old coaches. White, two old white guys. Yeah. Hey, there's, they're not, uh, okay, two <laughs> old white guys. That's, the, that's who the sport is for. I guess. Not it's not for them. It could be for anybody. Anybody like again, as as Coach Eric Taylor says, you know, <laughs> football is every can is for everybody. So, um, like it, it's so you, it's about it's about choosing plays. It's about knowing your team. It's about inspiring your team. It's about training them the right way. And uh, again, it's like it's like a deck building sort of scenario where you're like choosing who gets good at what and then what you end up using. So and also, I think the television presentation technique is fantastic. They, they do a really good job of televising it. They have those helicopter cameras that, fought, like the, I don't know if you guys have seen enough sports. So where, where are you putting this in, our, in the 10? I don't know. Um, you like it the most. I, I don't like it. I said I, like, I said I would be willing to say soccer is the best. All right, so I would be willing to say that, but I would put it under soccer. So a bit above, uh, below cricket. Man, I would put it <laughs> above cricket, but I don't like the... Uh, I don't like the fact that most professional players sustain permanent brain damage and that the culture is a bit obnoxious. It's actually really obnoxious. It's the really obnoxious. Football point. culture is pretty horrible. It's actually not as good as you thought when you really interrogate it yeah, on the when, merits. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah. A, a lot, it's it's loud and weird. And we'll put it down at four or five. Four or five? And how about, more? so wait, what, what do we got? Number one so far is, can we say, is, what's, what's number one, soccer? Yeah. We just, let's go ahead and make the, the boring choice that soccer right. is the soccer. best sport. Cricket. Soccer, cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Soccer, cricket. Then baseball, because it's a little bit like cricket. <laughs> whoa, whoa. We don't have to put baseball at number yeah, three. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Basketball, basketball okay, should basket be number three. Basketball. I would say football is number four. All right. Is that right? Yeah, What's number five? You didn't, you didn't put ice hockey, squash, or... Uh, yeah, no, we need to place those. Well, we need to place ice hockey. Yeah. Squash is racquetball, yeah. So, so are you classing this as a list of nine? Uh... We could be collapsing into a list of nine, or we could just... Uh, Whoa. Okay. So Bennett Foddy thinks that the high jump is the best sport. Even though it's not, it's not per se a simultaneous competitive sport. It's just one person jumping at a time. I think that's still a sport, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not as game design interesting as... Game design interesting as... I, as I love high jump because it's it's you know it's it's so simple. It's just jump over a bar, but they're still inventing new ways to do it. That that guy has got this thing. He flips. He does a front flip over the bar, which is amazing. Yeah, I've seen that guy. Uh, I I like that it's not just tall players who are OP like in basketball. Anybody could be good. Nobody knows in advance who's yeah, going to be good. Yeah, you can't know. It is not obvious. It is, uh, you know, it, 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 it's... It's not even obvious which muscles you should train yeah. the most to jump. It's like, it's not. It's it's really interesting like uh, that. You know, the, the, the worst thing about it is that you can't run up and do like a m triple flip over the bar because you're not allowed to launch with one foot, uh, with two feet. You have to launch with one foot. One foot, on yeah. Ground, which is stupid. Uh, it should be like you should have it. So, are you advocating for the invention of a freestyle high jump? Yeah, I want to be able to run. So, your favorite sport is one that doesn't really exist. Yeah, that's my favorite not in a sport. professional capacity. Well, maybe we'll make it. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a show try. Us, show us your uh, my my sport. pick for the best sport of all time is sumo wrestling. I think sumo wrestling is uh, sounds like a joke, but I actually think sumo wrestling is the greatest game. Uh, that has ever been invented. I think it's the purest game. The level design is another human's body. Did I write that? I should have written that up there. It's uh, it's bench humans bench pressing one another with level design, where the level design is the circle, and it's the other human's body, and it's where are you going to put your hand on their body, and uh, which all this sounds like a good deal, like just like on paper. But uh, I have been to the sumo arena in Ryogoku in Tokyo uh, several times, and. It's just, it's fantastic. The, like the atmosphere of, of watching it. Like the, the boxes are like these little living rooms in the stadium. So you're like, you bring a table and some chairs and you just kind of sit there with food just watching this happen all day. And it's just like, it's totally a hangout and it's just totally chill. And uh, my, my cons for it are uh, what? That the tournament structure is chaotic. They only have like one season where they play it. 
like for a couple of weeks and they you don't really know what's going on and the tradition is off-putting and exclusionary because it's only typically only large you got to be large to win it large like you've got to be it's not just large but it's like large and like really they're really strong and i've actually i'm so interested in sumo that several times i've gone to the sumo training gyms and just watched these guys train because it's like open to the public and just it's it's just fascinating i could never do it myself because i'm not big enough but if they invented the I, I just think it's, I think it's the best wrestling. So all you're doing is trying to push somebody out. I think that's great. So I would put that. I would be willing to put that on the list well, it's, it's to not drop though. something else. Nobody voted for that. We're not. We're not allowed to. Nobody voted for high jump. Nobody voted for sumo. That's the difference between the popular perspective and the expert perspective. The expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The expert. Yeah. So if we were doing a list right now, off the top of our heads, what would we say? What would be number one? You want uh, I, uh, I like sumo. I wish I'd put it on my list. Oh man, you should have. Yeah. See, uh, people just don't. They don't think sometimes. But yeah, I would, I would just pop these <laughs> as a top. Just pop but, them. Uh, up. <laughs> is that, is I, that I would say sumo, soccer, football, basketball. We're. Uh, That's my I think we're four. out of time. Do we have Are time we for time? a couple of qu questions? This is the end of our uh, two questions. Two please, questions. Uh, All right, let's hear it. I'm just gonna slowly flick through these and without looking while we while you ask the question. Let's go. What do What do you got? You right there. Yeah, that's you. Like to like to have well, you would have two people jumping up over a bar at the same time, and it's uh, <laughs> whoever falls on the uh, on on the side that they were facing uh, is the winner. <laughs> so so you run and you jump, you, you jump with two feet. You throw a little bit of salt or rice or whatever it is behind you. And then you run and you jump and, uh, yeah, sumo jumping. That would actually be really good because you, you jump at the person and you hit in the air and then whichever side, if I fall on the side in front of me, I win. Is that good? I like it. I'd play that. Sumo jumping. All right, second question. Uh, at the back, towards the back, yep. Yes. What's the relationship between fighting and sports? Well, I think, well, so if we're talking about this from an angle of a I love Canadian checkers, by the way. It's, I'm not even kidding. If anybody lives in Oakland, California, come on over and play Canadian checkers sometime. It's fantastic. What? <laughs> it is. It Answer is, oh, the question. I'm, I am answering the question. Wait, what, what? Oh, no, it's about fighting. Well, I, I, I thought that the, the idea of this talk was uh, that we would be just talking about sports as games. And I feel like, especially when you're talking about uh, boxing, like boxing has a whole bunch of little gamey rules and restrictions, and it is fighting, but there is a game to it, where like in, in mixed martial arts, for example, it's the submission. Right. The submission is, is what you're kind of going after. I mean, the, the only difference between squash and fighting somebody with a stick is that you're using the ball as the metaphor for the other person's body. That's, that's the only difference. Yeah, exactly. It's like you're, you're trying to beat the other person by uh, exacting your aggression on, onto a ball. Onto a little rubber ball, which didn't ever hurt anybody. But it's, it's, it's basically the same thing. I mean, it's a way of making fighting safe. That's what I think sports all have that dimension to them, I think. I'm really upset that nobody voted for NASCAR. <laughs> All right, that's it. I think we're out of time. Thanks, everybody. In the list. So we have High Ally at number 10, Mixed Martial Arts at number 9, Baseball at 8, Table Tennis at 7, Ice Hockey and Tennis tied at 5 and 6, Football at 4, Basketball at 3, Cricket at 2, Soccer at 1, Sumo Wrestling at 0.